All right, everybody. Dude, I'm tired. I've been listening to music like all day because I've been comparing all these speakers, but I do it for you, the people, because it's what you ask for. Look, check this out. If, if, if this is your first time to the channel partying with me, welcome to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. It is time for war, Richardson, because the war is between this new beast right here. This is the Sony Alt Field 7. This is Sony's new big bad boy that replaces the Sony SRS XG500. Yes, I have a shoulder strap on it. It does not come with that. We might talk about it later. I'll tell you why I did this. But it is going up directly against this one right here. This is the JBL Boombox 3. Now look, JBL, they went through extra links to make this thing sound spectacular. Ugh. They took it from the Boombox 2, which had two dynamic drivers and two tweeters. They, they, they leveled it up a notch, man, and that's why I love this thing so much. It's actually my favorite uh, speaker from JBL next to the Charge 5. But now they put a racetrack subwoofer in here for that extra dedicated bass. All right, this thing gets nice and low. And it sounds fantastic. I love it, man. But, we, Raylan, I, I'm busy, dude. I am so busy right now. So disrespectful. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> but here's the thing, man. Sony managed to one up JBL, not by adding an extra speaker or driver in here. It's got all the same stuff as the uh, XG500 as far as having the number of drivers. You got dynamic range and then you got tweeters. You don't have a dedicated subwoofer here. How did they manage to one up JBL without adding more? I don't know how they did it. I'm not into that kind of science. Listen, what is this? What the hell? What the hell is this speaker data? Man, get the hell out of here with that, man. We don't talk about that kind of stuff, man. Nobody cares about a freaking chart, okay? And data. There you go, Raylan. Raylan, I don't want it back. Don't bring that over here. I, Raylan, I don't care about data. You can have that. Okay. So some people like to just sit in front of a speaker and then like punch on a keyboard and record with a microphone and have all this data and stuff like that. Data doesn't make your booty shake. You know what I'm saying? When a dude walks into the store, what do you do? You press the sample, get it Raylan, get it, he's getting it. <laughs> to hell with that data. When a dude walks into the store and he's looking at a speaker, what do you do? You hit the little sample button, you play it and you go, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Data don't move your booty, man. I don't care what any charts say. I really don't give a damn. The Boombox 3 has 24 hours of battery life, up to 24 hours of battery life, okay? That's all you're getting out of here, okay? Now, ugh, the Alt Field 7 boasts up to 30 hours of battery life with the Alt Bass Boost on level two with the lights off. It does have party lights in here, which I don't really care too much about, but they're there if you need them. If you actually turn those lights on, you still get up to 25 hours of battery life. That's still one extra hour of battery life over the Boombox 3, all right? And then when you turn around to the back, because you need amenities, right? Ugh. This is a kind of a one trick pony. It is made for playing music and that's totally fine with me because that's what these things are for. But if you open up the speaker booty, you get your AC charging input right there, your service for your, uh, man, he is going in on that, on that data, Wilson. He don't give a damn about your data neither. <laughs> Nobody cares about your freaking JBL data, okay? Now. <laughs> And then you got your uh, your 3.5 in right there. So you get charging port in 3.5. Close it up, you get IP67 rated once that speaker booty is closed. But once you get into the old field seven, the speaker booty is big, all right? Ugh, because it's housing a lot of stuff, man. You get your AC charging input there. You get your USB charging input, but you can also play music off of the USB. You get your audio in, which is a 3.5. You get your mic input, uh, guitar input, because that's your 6.2. Then you get a guitar amp there. And then you got your karaoke features right there with your key control. And you have a battery care mode. What is battery care? Well, people are always talking about how their batteries degrade over time. I've never really had that issue, but Sony does it to where you can actually uh, prohibit this thing from charging more than 80%. And that takes care of your battery so you can have your speaker a lot longer. All right, now let's talk about portability. Ultra portable here, right? You got four handles, right? You got one here, you got one here, and then on the flip side. Now this handle, their hand, the handles are all plastic, whereas if you're out at a basketball court or a beach or something like that, this metal handle is gonna burn you. I talk about it every freaking time. 
and that's what I don't like about it. I wish they would have made it plastic. Here you got all plastic and you got rubber bump stops here because it can be set just like this and you're gonna be just fine and it sounds exactly how it's supposed to sound. It's actually designed to play this way. Now, you see here, I got a strap. It does not come with a strap, but I went online and found this strap and I actually went online and found these straps because I was looking for something for the JBL Boombox 3 and my XG500. But to be honest with you, all these straps look ugly on those two speakers. In fact, they make like these leather cases. You remember the, the, the mobile phones from like the early 2000s when they had the leather cases with that, that clear plastic on the front? That's what they look like for this. But this, it's like it's almost made for it, man. You just strap it around there and then you cut it to size, and then you got yourself a detachable handle, and then when you don't want it on there, you just kind of take it off, then you can tuck it in, and boom, ding, you don't have a handle anymore. But I know you guys, you haters out there, y'all don't care about how much Sony has done to make this speaker great for any and everybody who wants to buy one. All y'all care about is sound. So let's go out here and talk about that, man. I'm gonna set these speakers right here, I'm gonna let Wilson hear them, you gonna hear them, and then we gonna discuss it afterwards. Wilson, man, you heard it for yourself. The audience heard it. I want to hear what you guys thinking. What the? 
What is this? You and your freaking data. I thought Raylan, ugh, I mean, no freaking speaker data. Anyways, man, I heard what I heard. Me personally, I actually like the sound of the Sony better because it just kind of, kind of just fills up the room. Now I know we're not in a room right now, but it really does just fill in the area. To be honest with you, it kind of sounds and feels like there's more than one speaker out there. Like you almost have like two of them side by side or like spaced out a little bit. I just, it's just a really nice sound with not too much like, I, I will never get listening fatigue from this speaker, right? I do feel like JBL has a little bit more bass, but overall, I definitely prefer the sound of the Sony speaker just because it's, it's just, it's just free. Wilson, you know what? This is where you come in, man. I'll never let you talk <laughs> because you be saying some BS, man. But tell me, seriously, how do you feel about these speakers? Honestly, I really feel the JBL is really good on the low end. If okay. You're, if you're looking for like low end music, uh -huh. JBL definitely is going to be all the way to go for any low end music. But if you're looking to just like fill up a room, have a bunch of people coming over, just want to have it to where anybody can hear it wherever they are, Sony is going to be definitely the way to go for that. All right. So you say for room fill and sound for a party or just general music, everything you want to do? Exactly. All right. And then what's this one for? If you're looking for a bass, a bass lovers or anybody that's listening to music that's heavy on that kind of low end, uh -huh. that's definitely the way to go for the JBL. All right. JBL, lower bass. This is literally everything else. Pretty much. That's how I've been feeling. All right. Now, here comes the ultimate question. If you was in the market for a speaker that cost $500, Wilson, I know I don't pay you much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know you only pay you like three cents an hour. You know what I'm saying? But after you saved up your coins, which one of these speakers are you going to spend $500 on? I would do the Sony. The Sony? Are you serious? Sony. I would do the Sony because just filling up a room, really. I mean, low end is low end. If you're, like, if you're into that, you're into that. But if I'm looking to have it to where anyone can hear it, uh -huh. no matter where they are in the room, Sony's definitely going to be the way to go. Man, that's what's up, man. Hey, that's what I picked, too. I put my money on the Sony uh, Alt Field 7. It is the new kid on the block. It does, it, it, it does so much. Stuff that I ain't even going to use is, it is baked into this speaker already. The sound quality, to me, is top tier. This is definitely better than the Sony XG500, if you're, if you're asking me. And I just, dude... I just really freaking like, can I just like it and you guys not be mad at me? Is that gonna be a problem with you guys, you freaking JBL people? Anyways, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is now you can be mad at Wilson. It's not just me. <laughs> Wilson, they gonna come with their pitchforks, baby. We gotta go, man. Man, Wilson, you and your dang data sheets. Now I gotta clean my pool. Oh man, god dang it. Ugh. Wilson, I'm about to fire you, dude. This is too much.